yet. I have slept more. I'm My sleeping patterns are slowly getting back into the normal realms of waking up in the morning and going to bed at night. But uh, I'm still struggling with, well, like today I slept to like 12 p.m. Which isn't, which is too much for me. I normally get up at like six, seven, eight in the morning. So I'm still slowly recovering. Cyber goddess, bonjour from New York City. I hope it's good. Where am I right now? London. I'm London today, which is good. Um, yeah, it's exciting mornings. Hey from the UK. Listening Fraggly last night. That's good. That's good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. E.G. Vickers. Fraggly is a Saturday night host. Tim. Hello, Beth. How are you doing? How is the hills of Scotland where you are? Um, let me send out a ping on the Discord as well. And we can kick off with some morning trivia. Um, let me ping this out. Uh, updates, there we go. Right. Pushed, done, sent. Great, not that sunny. No audio. Oh, whoa. My webcam has just gone off. Oh, it's back on. Oh, it's off and on. Wow. That's fun. Uh, no audio, but flick the, uh, flick the, what's the bird? The silent mode. London, your second home. That's good. That's good. We're based in London. Oh, I'm based in London. Um, the strike's done. The strikes won't be done for a while, I don't think. Good morning, Ken. Omi wins, you have audio. That's good, that's good. We, we, need, to, uh, we need to work on the silent mode thing. We'll have, we'll have a fix come out soon. We've got some other fixes we're working on for next week as well. Um, gradual, the app slowly, gradually gets better, you'll probably find over time. Um, as we keep adding more different things in. Um, shop assistant strikes soon. Hopefully, Beth, you can have a, a well-deserved day off. Welcome, AC1017. Uh, can you get here? Do from Bermuda. Bermuda, that is a very different place. Um, the Bermuda Triangle, isn't it? It's where everything gets lost, or the ships get lost as well, get hidden away. How long have you been in Bermuda? Crawl Early Sunday says, he says, not this Sunday, but we do have Crawl Daddy Days coming, coming soon, coming very soon. Um, and a few new shows as well, hopefully coming up in the next few weeks. Um, and some fun questions today, of course. The best questions today. Only the best and most exciting questions today. Um, Super Bowl Sunday. That's good. It is the Super Bowl today, isn't it? I realise, looking at um, the news of things. So, I don't watch that. I to use stickers, says James. Good question. Soon, you'll be able to use stickers. Right now, you can, you can ponder them in your collections and feel a sense of uh, satisfaction that you've collected so many. But soon, you'll be able to use them as well. We are, in order to reduce the amount of uh, bugs and issues you push things, we push things through uh, uh, like in very small little updates and batches so we can get everything around in time. Uh, we like shapes, I like pondering. Bermuda Triangle isn't real, says Super Ali. We should do a question about the Bermuda Triangle because I imagine something's there. Commercials are gonna be good. That's it, yeah, it's famously lots of commercials. I was reading that last year in the Super Bowl, there were 80 different commercials and in about the 80s or something when it started, there's only six commercials. So there you go. That's uh, interesting. I was gonna do a question about it, but I didn't in the end, which is why I've dropped my facts. Um, Cyber Goddess, Rihanna is the only thing worth watching tonight. Probably. Football's very stop and start, isn't it? I find it uh, more difficult to watch. I used to play rugby growing up, which is different, but we don't stop. We don't stop as much um, than we do during, um, during American football. Right. Don't know I have enough sounds. I'm sure they're saying profound things. <laughs> you need to flick off the silence thing. Because, like, I have my phone on silent. I can't say it, though. I don't know. Um, maybe you'll... Uh, I can't write more in chat. There we go. I'll put it... Right, well. I'll write one more time. Flick the silent mode off your iPhone on the... Was it left side? If you can. Smiley face. There we go. Right. Thank you, EG Vic, as well. Good morning, afternoon, evening to everyone. Uh, hope you're having a good Sunday. My Sunday's been okay so far, just with sleep and breakfast and questions. But of course, it's time for our first round of the daily trivia. Um, very quick, it's gonna be five questions. Audio is messed up, it's reverberating. Yeah, if you leave and rejoin, the audio doubles up. So just close the app and then reopen it. 
and then it will come back as normal if that happens that is also another bug we are aware of that we're working through now as well um bermuda triangle super bowl maybe okay cool right very easy it is five questions in 10 minutes uh quick answer more points you get more points you get hype you get leaderboards all prizes are paid out on mondays so tomorrow you get paid out if you win today which is exciting uh quick go through the prizes first place 10 pounds or whatever currency you have set on paypal um and a thousand stubs second price is five third is 250 and fourth fifth and sixth is one um with also 100 stubs as well i have no sound issues i am special sort of special the uh the uh more is a very uh a stable platform a very stable platform but we it's slowly it does it generally generally works things so just a few little hitches and things we did a big update to uh like the app actually loads like tons faster right now but part of that update meant we had to update the version of uh the code we're using so it also added a few little other things as well the graphic sticker please there we go right we need a graphic sticker yeah we should do the leaderboard sticker i'll get a machine to add that in super rare we'll have it as like old art for something right question number one let's kick off with our first one which of these is not a place in the real world is it the arctic desert teletubby land or the sahara desert now one of these places is made up and it's it's tough it's a tough one hopefully not too tough uh oof nova Stephen. <laughs> not going for right um, the correct answer is, in fact, um, you have audio. Perfect. Well done, Buzz. That's good. Um, first question is, in fact, Teletubby Land. 56, you get in the right. Do you go for the Arctic Desert, which does, in fact, exist? There is a desert in the Arctic because deserts can be cold, too. It's just a lack of uh, um, lack of liquid, maybe? <laughs> I guess not. And, yeah, the Arctic Desert and the Sahara Desert is also real as well. Funny fact, Teletubby Land, right? Remember Teletubby Land? It used to look like this. All the pretty teletubbies living in their nice little underground house but now they've removed it and it looks like this they've uh, pulled out everything they're just stuck in a pond so now the teletubbies live underwater in this horrible sad place so there you go teletubbies are no more um that's what you see on lsd that's good that's good the teletubbies makes sense maybe a scary trip maybe not though it depends um how you see them question number two uh, season four of which Netflix show about a stalker started this week? Is it you, them, or us? Three words all describing different groups of people. Um, I've been watching part of this today. Uh, I do enjoy, I do enjoy a good bit of uh, stalker mystery. Uh, the correct answer is, of course, you. You don't have Netflix. No, oh, 40 of you getting that right. 16 going for us, which is the uh, the film. And them? I don't know if there's something called them. Maybe there's something called them. Maybe called them. Um, but yeah, well done to everyone getting that right. Rushed it last night. It's good. I'm like three episodes in so far, but they're releasing half the episodes this month and half the episodes next month. So I don't get um, I don't get a full a full thing. This is us. Us does make sense. The Teletubbies are huge. They are big. I could imagine waking up and seeing tinky winky or dipsy looking over you is kind of terrifying let's look at the leaderboards how are we doing uh so far they're coming up crawdad winning with 19k followed by andrew's love still coming in third even though not having netflix which is good um, urban sobrero fifth J sorry fourth james fifth and sjp 1036 now cut out of manitoba zach and zeusless just behind i feel like it's gonna be one of those games where you want to click fast and everything's going to change very, very quickly. Good guess, love. Good guess. Right. Question number three. How many stripes does the Adidas logo have? Is it three, four, or five? And now I know some of you are going to say Adidas. Is that how you pronounce that? Or is it Adidas? 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 I don't know. I've always been confused by what it is exactly you should pronounce. Um adidas i think it's adidas but adidas sounds a bit smoother i think like nike and nike uh the correct answer adidas adidas the correct answer is three adidas those two as well 48 if you get that right seven going for four nine going for five if you want to fact check me on that one here is the adidas adidas logo uh there you go you can see three three lines there well done to everyone 
getting that right. A simple, easy, hopefully logo reminder question. Right. Sticking on the theme of sort of sports. Um, oof, late today. Unlucky to know. It's fine. You can catch up maybe uh, all day you dream about soap. Um, question four. Who won the 2022 FIFA World Cup? Was it France, Argentina or Brazil? Now, it's... It's different, isn't it? For artists, people. Football, true. But very, very recent football. Very, very recent football. Um, only last year. In fact, I'm pretty sure we had a billion questions about it when we were doing quizzes last year. Um, the correct answer is, in fact, Argentina, who won last year. Messi being the king. 43 getting that right. 13 going for France, who are the runners-up. And 7 going for Brazil, who I don't know where they came, but I don't think they did particularly well. The 2022 World Cup also being the World Cup that we remember that Salt Bay touched the world cup outrageously outrageously absolutely outrageously he's not allowed to touch it but he went on there how did he do it we'll never know the men's world cup that's true jay silverman i should say that because the england did win the women's world cup didn't we as well soccer for americans yeah yeah maybe it's not fair having a football question on american football sunday but uh there we go right one more question to go it took five hits at once good feet ball Feetball is an un uncomfortable name for that. Um, Women's Cup was not contested in 2022. That's good, that's good. Uh, show scores. Andrews in first place, 39k. Uh, Gary second, Crawler third. Zach, Stephanie and Over Manitoba. James painfully just behind in seventh. Eighth and ninth and tenth doing very, very well. I feel bad. Eighth and ninth, Bartholomew and Year of the Tiger and Test 1, Test 2. I bet, I, re I bet one of you are going to claw it back in in this last question. That is my prediction. Uh, how are we doing at the bottom? Everyone's doing all right, though. Everyone's doing all right, though. Um, Danelle, you were late. That's unfortunate. Albin doing okay as well. Uh, OKC Foodie 50. So many people in chat now. It's hard to pronounce everyone. Right. Last question. The music has changed to something off my playlist, but I think it's okay. Cool. Right. Question number five. We've gone from sports to science. What is the Greek word? Thomas mean is it indivisible invisible or isolated Thomas Thomas could be many many different things but for this one the correct answer is indivisible Thomas means 32 of you getting that right a Thomas good 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 has it oh. Uh, 14 for invisible, 16 for isolated. Uh, so Atomus is, if you might have guessed, is actually the same place where the word atom comes from. And uh, in Greek, the prefix a means not, and the word Thomas means cut. So the word comes from not being able to cut, which is indivisible. Four out of five for me, well done, Joem. Stuck this game out. Oh, unlucky Uncle Ron. <laughs> well, okay, that was zero out of five. Oh no. I tried to make them slightly better today, but um, slightly easier earlier question. But hey, here we go. Netflix is hard and football as well. Oh no, you froze. Oh, you should still be able to play though. You'll see the questions. Right. Who has won today? It's looking at the leaderboards. It is in fact Andrews in first place at 49k, followed by Crawdad, followed by Gary, James, Year of the Tiger, and me, MPG, picking it in. I'm from Jersey. So close, Supraly, so close, Urban Sombrero, Beth, and We Like Shades, and Apricot, so close as well. There's a lot of people very close. Well done, everyone, for playing. That was exciting. That was click. That was close click. I'm uh, thinking too much click. Right, well, I will now send out our high. They're out of five, but not last. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> but that's good. That works. Um, and I'll send out our winner's pop up to everyone. Well done for winning today, and you'll get paid out tomorrow, so you don't even have to wait for your money. But hold on. There's another quiz show today in five hours, which will be our last one of the week. So if you're like going for that leaderboard spot, you want to like get up there, get in our top 10, which we'll announce on Monday evening. You want to play our last game, which will be back in five, five hours. So in between that five hours, um, I can't remember what the amount of prizes increase when you reach how many players. So what we said is we'll add in an extra position for 70, 80, 90, uh, and that, so like seven people win 70 eight people win 80 nine people win 90 and then when we get to 100 we'll do something like super special and different which i'm not going to reveal right now but once we get to 100 we can do something big but we do, we've got a few more like um 
marketing-y things and like other stuff coming out in the next few weeks. So hopefully we should be able to pick up those numbers as well. We're trying to spread the word. Um, but yeah, we've got some more, we'll be doing some more spreading of more trivia next week, which should be good. Thank you everyone for playing. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday and we'll be back in like five hours or so. So keep your eye on the app, get ready to play. A hundred hosts wear kitty ears and their headsets. I should get kitty ears for mine, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I'm a kitten. I don't feel like a kitten inside, but maybe I could be. Goodbye. Enjoy your rest of your afternoon. I'll be back again in five hours. I was like one beat too slow collecting Atom to Indivisible. Yeah, the thing is, right? Atoms, right? They're not indivisible because you've got electrons and neutrons and protons, don't you? So we actually divide up atoms. Or wait, no, that's true. That's right, isn't it? So like, it doesn't really make sense now, does it? They should change the name to something else because atoms are divisible now, I guess. But maybe that's just the, the, the facts of science changing as things go. Right, thank you, everyone. Goodbye. Enjoy your afternoons. I'll be back.